Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at the control panel. This is the control panel. Unlike the majority of RTS games that have their panel on the bottom of the screen, Populous has it on the left. Theoretically, you could play the game without using the control panel, but it would be so bare bones that it's painful just thinking about it. It is vital that you learn how it works and what each section of it represents if you want to play a Populous to begin it. So, let's break down the individual sections of the panel from top to bottom. I'll highlight each section with a fancy red box. This is the minimap. The minimap condenses the information available in global view and displays it in the corner allowing for a quicker glance. The global view and the minimap are discussed further in another tutorial. Now jumping to the bottom momentarily, this is the area which will display either the building panel, the spell panel or the follower panel. These are accessed by the following tabs. The tab with the building icon will give you access to the building panel. From here you can choose any of the available building plans that you would like to build. The tab with a star icon will give you access to the spell panel. From here you can choose which spells you would like to cast and which you would like to charge. Right clicking on a spell will toggle between charging and not charging. You can charge multiple spells at once but it is smart to only charge one or two at most at any given time. Left clicking on a spell icon will select that spell. You can still select a spell even if you haven't charged it However, the Shaman will not be able to cast. If there is a question mark on the spell or building panel, it indicates that there is a stone head on the map that grants access to that spell or building. The tab with the people icon will give you access to the follower panel. This panel lets you command your followers with ease and is covered in a separate tutorial. The globe icon toggles your primary follower icons. By default, when the globe is not in use, you can see your entire population displayed below. When you click the globe, only those followers on screen are shown and only those can be selected. Clicking the globe again will revert it back to normal. This is the Shaman icon. The icon animates as your Shaman animates, showing what is currently happening with your Shaman even if she isn't on your screen. Left clicking the icon will select the Shaman and right clicking the icon will move your camera to your Shaman's location. The question mark here is the encyclopedia. Left clicking it will turn your cursor into a question mark and whatever you click next will cause the encyclopedia to pop up and display information regarding what you've clicked. If you crave more information than what is provided by these tutorials, visit the encyclopedia for something more in depth. This white bar displays the health of your shaman and it will deplete as she takes damage. Make sure to keep an eye on this. These coloured icons are the icons of the other tribes and indicate which tribes are in the game. In multiplayer, you can change alliances with the other tribes by holding shift on the keyboard and left clicking a tribe's icon. These are what I call the primary follower icons, because they are always on display regardless of what panel you are using. You can manage your units here to some degree, but what's more important is the information it displays to you. The far left indicates your current population as well as your population limit. If your bar is red and occasionally flashing green, you need to build more huts to increase your population limit. If you have a population of 199, you've hit the global population limit and cannot produce any more braves regardless of how many huts you build. And finally, this is the spell charge rate bar. It indicates how much money you are using to charge spells and train followers. The further the bar depletes, the longer it is going to take to charge spells or train followers because you do not have the sufficient mana income. You learn to know what to charge without the use of this bar through experience in the game. The bar's most useful purpose is when it flashes red. This is to grab your attention and make sure you are aware that you are wasting mana. The control panel is a simple yet powerful tool to master. If you have any questions about this tutorial, leave them in the comments section below. Click the video to the left if you missed the navigation tutorial. Click the video to the right to watch the follower panel tutorial.